started wondering uh, ways to be know is getting on in age now a key player for you, an experienced sort of player. Is it as he gets on in years in terms of his training regime, is he have you to manage him more from week to week given the hectic schedule of League One? Jim, good to see you. Nice to have a different face in the room. And I'm not 1% surprised that you've asked me about Wes Houlihan with your first question. So no problem at all. Um, he's, he's obviously had a little issue with his injury in the last uh, week or so, but hopefully he'll be back on the grass this week. In terms of managing his programme, no different this year to last year, really. Of course, he's not um, all day, every day like some of the others, but you just, you just manage that in terms of the games played and the sessions that he, that he takes part in um, because in the end when he does play or does train you want him at his freshest and at his best so um, in, in lots of senses no, no slowing down on the back of last year yes we managed the programme but um, I think when people see him play they see he's super fit and he's super committed to the games and, and loves playing and I think he's, he's missed the little spell that he's, uh, he's been out and, and he's really desperate to get back and, and of course any team would miss him so um, I think we won one, drew one, lost one of the games where he's not been in the team recently. So we want to try and get him back in the team because we know there's a creativity there that he can give us. Uh, but at the same time, we, we can find ways around that if he's not there. But really pleased with his commitment, attitude, work ethic. Um, he's super fit and super enthusiastic, which is uh, exactly what you want from your players. And I suppose, Mark, in terms of care you seem to be operating two systems this year, 442 and uh, 451. Is that sort of, are you flexible to move between both sorts of formations in terms of uh, working your sort of attacking systems around that? Yeah, I mean, 433, 4141, 451, 4231. I mean, they're all the same thing, really, but there's five systems there. 442, we haven't played diamond yet, but we can. Um, so a bit of flexibility is important. It, it's miles more important than uh, just the system and where people look like they are on a tactics board. People move in a football game and when you freeze frame a game in or out of possession, you could be playing all sorts of systems. So it's more about passing combinations, pressing lines, principles of play that are more important to us than the actual formation. Um, I know the obsession with formations, everybody gets obsessed by that, but um, you can win and lose play in all different kinds of ways. And uh, the balance is we've got to try and find the right way as best we can. But what we have shown is able to be flexible from one game to the next and, really importantly, able to change in-game from one shape to the next as well. And finally, for me, Mark, uh, one thing that's been uh, impressive is the, the bounce back from the Lincoln sort of defeat as well. It probably caught, caught the eye, but the, the response has been very good and the sort of people like that, I suppose it was an off day, but are you happy with the reaction of the players? Because suffering a loss like that, it, it can obviously can affect morale and results can maybe suffer as an off from that. But the results have been sort of good and the reaction has been good since that one off day experience. Yeah, well, two things on that. Um, that's been the case for 18 months. Our, res our response to um, defeats has been exceptional. So um, happy, I guess, but not surprised. And winning, losing and drawing are all a product of a season. It's going to happen a lot. And, and obviously our record last year, coming back from defeats and, and winning the next game has been exceptional. We've stepped up a level, so that might prove harder this year. But at the same time, we, um, we've got a resilience about us and, and a mindset that just sort of says park that game and crack on with the next one. And that's that's the culture that we've got and the environment that we want. So that gives us a chance of, of bouncing back. We want to try and do that again this week if we can, but um, you can't control the outcome so much. We've got to control the, the mindset, the environment, the spirit of the team and the, the, pre the preparation going into a game and then control that performance level. And if we get that right, we, we give ourselves a chance because we know on our day we can be competitive with everybody.